Hello and welcome back to Civilization VI as Hungary. Yes, I have caused you grievances, of course. I mean, I did declare war on you. And now I'm at war with the Aztecs, of course. Because they want to be a bunch of dickheads. Bring it on, you Aztec dogs! Um, Pike and shot, yeah, they're... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, my black army's right next to him. Now he's gonna get fucked. Because he's cavalry. And the Pike and shot is anti-cavalry. Okay, they're good on housing. They're good on amenities. My house. That crossbow man. What the fuck? Do I have a spy? I don't believe I have a spy yet. No. Okay, you know what? I think over here I will go with a Cahokia Mound. You can't move anywhere. And I'll have you chop down that forest. Speed up the lighthouse. And next turn, maybe? Yes. Okie dokie. Yep, fucked up my black army, damn it. What? Oh my god. Just wiped them out. That's some garbage. Good thing you're in range of my city now. Oh wait, I do have a spy right here. Cancel mission. Spy. Travel to new city. Let's do Beidong. Either Beidong or Jombi. <laughs> Okay, Buddha, what do I want here? University wouldn't hurt, but I need more military units for my war against the Aztecs as well. Frigates are basically useless. Uh, another black army, or maybe more musketmen. I like using the Black Army because I can pump them out relatively quickly. And they're my uni unique unit. Get the most use out of them as I can while I can. Why not? God, even just attacking them like that, they just fuck the unit up so bad. It's ridiculous. I need to take care of those piking shots. They're kind of fucking me up. Okay, build a b -b -b build a build a build a farm. Get another spy, maybe. Another musket man. Four gold per turn for thirteen of my iron. I have thirty three, and it'll give me one horse and four gold per turn and thirteen gold. Oh, that's the only horse he has. <laughs> How about some diplomatic favor? 
No, not even the one. Ah. I mean, Chandragupta is right. I do have uh, very few troops, technically speaking. Good lord. Can I attack him with the crossbow man? Oh wait, he's dead. Doesn't matter. And you have two builds left. What should I do with those builds? I kinda wanna go build a farm on those. Cause I get the feeling the yields are probably pretty fucking good. Map options. Show yield icons. Wait. Only two. Interesting. That seems unusually low for being in a volcanic field. That's only one food. Weird. Okay, anywho, back to the builder. <clears throat> Were there any amenities that I've missed? Or any luxury resources? It doesn't look like it. That city's working on a black army? Why did I build a black army there? That doesn't make a lot of sense at all. And I've got room for one more trader, so let's get that. 13 iron for 2 gold per turn? No. Damn right. Oh, wow. We're both. Jeez. His units are good. What the hell was that? The heck? Not a barbarian? What, the heck? what the heck was that? <laughs> Matthias Carvinus has captured Agra. We must resist their aggression. That's not going to be enough. Wait, Agra? Oh, yeah. Great. Okay, who's working against me then? Montezuma, Saladin. Okay. The pen might not be mightier than the sword. Okay, I've got f almost fifteen hundred gold here. New trader, send it to Cahokia, because that's a lot of gold right there. Okay, I need to protect Agra. Agra really is not the... Her Agra, uh, the Black Army really is not the best unit. Not the best unit around at all. <clears throat> I can't build an encampment, goddammit. Requires a population of four greater and we only have two. Wonderful. Wait a minute, no. Ancient Walls. No, go back. Because I want to purchase a unit. Purchase a bombard. And over here, purchase. A pike and shot, maybe. Hmm. No musket man.
kill that asshole. You did. Can't attack them. Damn. Okay, production cursor. Industrial era heavy cavalry unit. Yeah. I uh, I like the sound of that. And upgrading my crossbowman too. That also sounds pretty nice. He probably did now. Surprisingly not. How long is the summer? 25 turns. Jeez. 12 of my nighter are the only 12 I have for only 3 gold per turn. No. <clears throat> Pretty much only care about what happens in in, in Agra right now. <laughs> Do you have a promotion? No, you don't. You're gonna fucking die. Uh, yeah. Let's kill the uh, pikemen. And move out. You fucking heal, baby. Your last build. Am I gonna have the gold for this? Ooh, just barely. Let's go get some niter. Some niter. Okay, black army. You also head south. Uh, you're gonna die probably. Just chill back and heal. That's that's all I can think of for him at the moment. <clears throat> I could build the Taj Mahal. It'll only take 19 turns, dude. Let's do it. Pex, 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 so oh, Pex, what do I build here? I could keep pumping out the black army and some knights, actually. Monument, speed up some culture, maybe. Get a little bit of culture. Uh huh. I swear to god, if that warrior actually fucked up my... Okay, now I'm not gonna know because... Oh, who declared war on me now? I have a military alliance with them. With the Ottomans, and they're over here. So wait, does that mean he's at war with them also? With Chandragupta and... Who he, Yeah, Sladen, the Arabians. The market economy, however. The individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Um, Ancient, classical, medieval, and renaissance era melee, anti-cavalry, and ranged units. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I want right there, actually. <laughs> I 
move him further over, maybe. And have him, and let's actually do his promotion. Two times the flanking bonus, ooh. Reformed church, uh, let's see, are there any useful policies from that? Nope, uh, nothing really useful from that, and I'm not going to switch to a theocracy. Probably going to be waiting until I get... Ugh, I don't know. Probably either switch to fascism or communism. I i don't know, maybe go with democracy, though, just to mix things up. I don't think I have actually done democracy yet, if I recall. Democracy makes things way more fucking difficult. Oh shit. I have two envoys available, huh? That's weird that it doesn't tell me to send them anywhere. <clears throat> oh, now it's telling me to send them. <laughs> Send him to a cod, so we can try and kick Montezuma out. God damn it! Oh, apparent. Wait, what? I'm confused. Huh. Wait, yeah, who are my governors? I don't have you yet, and I can't appoint you, but when I do, I might actually send her to a cod. Oh, shit, what did I just do? Crap, no. Who did I move? I didn't want to move the bombard. Crap. Oh, you can be upgraded to a frigate. I need 13 nighter, though, and 200 gold, which I just actually have. Or 220 gold. Hmm. Yeah, hold off on that, obviously. Don't really have the supplies for that. The Black Army. Listening post, foment, unrest. It's only got 63%. Jeez. Well, let's try it. I can always make another spy if I have to. Alright, last build on the niter. Get some more niter going. So I can build more musket main. Did it immediately fail? Enemy, spy, siphon, gold. Of course. From the city of Buda. I don't think my spy was down there. I'm pretty sure he was down here. Huh, interesting. Where was that noise happening? Oh, it was right there. I couldn't see it. Jeez. Okay, get the black army on shore. Have them keep healing. God, the fucking elephants, dude. I hate them. Screw your elephants, Chandragupta. Damn right. Mm. 
mobilize my entire military over here, basically. And production down here in Sizged. Library. Uh... Yeah, I'll go with the library there. I may be at war, but that's no excuse to stop my progression. Let's build another spy just because I think I'm going to need it. Tatabanya. Zero amenities arena it is. What is going to happen here? No one's even landed a hit on Agri yet. I gotta thank Chandragupta for getting this into such a good position here. Did he really build an aqueduct right there? Oh my god. Little unnecessary there, Chandragupta. Just a little. <clears throat> hmm. Oh shit, he goes right there? You kidding me? Take him out! Got me another- got me two more black- or three more black armies on the way, jeez. Four more. <laughs> I forgot that I produced that many. Three coal and three gold per turn in open borders. Uh, I'll give that to her for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Production in Deborah Sin, Deborah Kin, Deborah's Kin. Plus three gold, baby. Promotion. Shit, he can't attack it from there. I have to move him. Eh. Pillage for 78 science, yeah. I'm confused. It says I can still move. Okay, there we go. That was just kind of glitched then. Uh, 
Promotion! Yay! Just move them wherever I can. Yeah, put you in the water, actually. Put you in the water, too. And put you in the water. Have an invasion force off the coast. Yes. Uh, ooh, Hong Kong or Jerusalem? Jerusalem will take one last turn to get to. Okay, next turn. What you got? What you got? Bring it. Bring it. Oh no. That might kill it. Yep, that. That did it. I lost a bombard. Sad face. Gotta have that whole area just like filled up with my guys. Oh, you know what I just realized? I don't have any cities along here. Okay. Oh, and now I can attack it. That's ridiculous. Pillage again for 78 science. What? Okay, let's do it. And then move there. Move him there. And wait, nope. And move you there. Oh, shit. I could have moved him there. And I didn't. Ooh, I do have to remember I still have this guy. I just kind of have to get in there, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to wait until I can get all three of them to like just go right up to it, though. At the very least, I think I'll have these two get close, but that's it for now. Okay, repeat the Jerus Jerusalem, the Jerusalem route, or go to Manchester for sixteen. Yeah, let's do that. That's actually a shorter route too. Value of a wall, art museum, and archaeological museum. Let's go with an archaeological museum. I always like to build at least one of those first. Get my archaeology on, baby. Now maybe he'll be distracted by one of my units here and attack them instead, but he'll probably go for the boats. Yeah, of course that one's going to go for that one. Or one, or one of them. It's only natural. Right, row. Who did I just lose? Is it a musket man? He almost dead. Where? Yeah, let's see. Where? Let's see. CO2 levels. Oh, okay. 100% production towards buildings in this district. No buildings can be created in this district. Chair draw sent to the chosen player. Provide plus four gold to the sender. The chosen player receives plus one trade route capacity. Cancels any international trade routes between other civilizations and the chosen player. And embargoes any new ones from starting.
<laughs> put all of my diplomatic favor towards that. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That's what I'll do. Uh-oh, a flood in Chandragupta's territory. Like, I care about him. So wait, what happened with the... Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? Trade routes sent to this chosen player provide plus four gold to the sender. The chosen player receives plus one trade route capacity. Um... Why? Uh, I'm confused. Wait, did I choose encampment? I thought I chose the economic district. Okay, why does everybody want me to have an extra trade route? Uh, Let's like get an extra trade route. They just don't want me to have an extra trade route. Or they just don't want me to get extra gold. Sweet, the mission was successful. And nothing's happening, of course. Governors. Where do I have a governor put down unnecessarily? One, two... Three, where's my fourth? Liang. Let's reassign Liang. Why do I even have... Why do I... Wait, I think I have aquaculture set up for her. Holy shit, why? Okay, Tatabanya or maybe Eager. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. The loyalty and eager is going down. Shit. I did not notice that. What's it like in Tatabanya? Wait, I can't... No, it's right there. Okay, the loyalty there is way better right now. Eager is... Not good, though. Okay, go. Make a dedication. Uh, darn it. <laughs> Successful trade routes. Okay, I can do a promotion or a pillage. Let's do the promotion, then I can do a pillage next round. Attack the crossbow man. Attack the crossbow man, man. Go take out that crossbow boy before he gets on land. do anything with him per se you land oh shit he can't land <laughs> oh no actually no wait. let's uh, wait to promote him until he gets kind of wounded skip your turn and choose research Move him in, actually. Ooh, yeah, let's remove the governor. Um, 
Ross's guard. A field cannon, maybe? Or cursier, whatever that is. Who declared war on me now? Arabia declared war on Kabul. Why? Interesting. Good lord. Just wipe him out, huh? Oh wow, they didn't though. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, they wiped him out. One-shotted. India's definitely tough. They're a tough nut to crack. That's for sure. Uh, keep attacking the fortress. Attack that motherfucking crossbowman. Come on, let's get it. Wipe out that motherfucking army. That attack would actually weaken it that much? I mean, it looks like it'll take health away. More health than anything. That's weird. He actually doesn't have a promotion available, but we can pillage to get some health, though. So, fuck yeah. And he still has an available attack. I'll wait on that one. That one's basically just going in to be martyrdom, or, uh, a martyr at this point. A Hong Kong caravel. I should go take Hong Kong over just for the fucking hell of it. <laughs> oh, you attack my capital city? I'll show you. Hmm. Do anything with him? Nah. Let's send him to Manchester. For 15.6 gold. That oddly specific amount. Okay, what do we got going on now? I had to look at my phone for a message. Who died? Who got attacked? Who who did what? Oh, the excuse me. Burping. New opinions are always suspected. Extra science from buildings and campus. 50% of the civilians. Extra gold from buildings and commercial hubs. Plus one amenity for at least two special districts. Uh, 
I'm willing to trade that one out and put that there and then put that extra science from buildings and campuses down there. How is that going to improve my science? I'm at 78 now, so let's go ahead and see. 83. Not bad. Honestly, not as much as I was expecting, but it's not bad. Okay, that's a caravel, so I want to actually go up here. Get him improved. If I have the money for it, which I'm honestly not certain of. But get that improved and then send him up north to attack the caravel. Oh, yep, the other black army got wiped out, of course. Hmm, who doth thy attack now? Send him back up, actually, since he's wounded. Pillage that for 166 gold? Hell yeah. Hmm. I feel like I should go attack him just because I don't want him to attack me. Oh, there's more units. Crap. <laughs> He's got a never-ending stream of fucking soldiers, basically. Um, he's on the land now, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Dude, my science is really sped up. What the hell? Oh, wait, they're all boosted. That's why. I want to get Hazars. Because I think that might be my next thing after the, the Black Army. Ooh, yes, let's get two envoys. Then I can kick Montezuma out of a card, maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Okay, let's put up some medieval walls. And maybe purchase, 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 purchase another black army just to throw at them, I guess. <laughs> Okay, what? What will they do? I think we took out their... No, we did not. I was going to say. It's unlikely that we would take out their thing. Okay, he might die now. Especially if the crossbow attacks him too. Oh, no. 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 Oh, good lord. Jesus, I can't believe he survived all that. Please tell me he's got a promotion. The Koros River flooded. Sweet, Buddha is my biggest city. Okay, ooh, they do have a promotion. Ooh, and they could pillage too. Was there anti-cavalry there? No, no anti-cavalry around, so I won't worry about that. Okay, let's see if we can go wipe them out, then move him there. Ooh, I can start attacking the city. <laughs> Take out that motherfucking encampment, damn it. Yes. 
I love how the fortification health is still up, but the district health is down. That's kind of funny, actually. When you think about it. Jesus Christ, if I can end up taking Delhi, Delhi, whatever the pronunciation is for that, during this emergency, that's actually going to be hilarious. It will actually be so funny. Okay, let's. Oh shit, I can't promote him yet. Not enough gold. I'll have to wait till next turn. Okay, wow, he's finally done healing. <laughs> let's send him over here. Get him into the fight a little bit. We got ourselves an agra emergency here. Ruh oh, did that kill him? No, it didn't. Good. Neither of my guys died yet. Fuck yeah. No, that problem. No, wow. Did he die? Nope. Oh, oh. Yep, that killed him. Fuck. I lost a good man, damn it. Where is this noise occurring? Okay. What is happeneth now with Okay, now I have enough gold. Where'd the caravel go? Oh, it's right there. Wait, are they not? Never mind. <laughs> I guess they aren't my fucking enemy anymore, apparently. Pillage for 50 health. Uh, should I allow him the chance to get away? Fuck no. You can die now! Attack that city. Yeah, yeah, baby. Attack that city. Yeah, yeah, baby. Get you dandy. Uh, how well... That seems to work fairly well attacking the city, honestly. I mean, way better than you'd expect. Oh, that musket man's almost dead. Dead or alive. I need to get him closer in there, so I need to move you down here. So you can get attacked by the... Uh, so you can get attacked by multiple things now. And skip turn. Got a musket man over here now. Let's actually keep him over here because I've got no military over here whatsoever. Eager. I got another trade route available. Two more available. I must have lost them. Guitarja, what the shit are you doing? I doth not like what you are dosing. Make another. I think I'm already making another spy somewhere. <laughs> My only three coal. You're fucking bonkers, bro. I'm not giving that up. But yeah, I could have. Yep, I'm making a spy over here. I'm, I wonder if you can send two spies to the same city. If you can, then I'm going to send it over to Beidung. Cool. Okay, she's eliminated for now. He's available for a promotion too. I forgot about that. Uh, 
Okay, and send two more to a cod. Get them on my side again, goddammit. I still can't attack the city, that's fucking awesome. Uh, maybe I can if he goes into the encampment though. I'll have to try that. No! Will you kill him? Yes, hell yeah. That's what I was hoping for. That way I can do this. He still can't attack. <laughs> yeah, he's only got point five moves. Okay. Attacking him will just fuck him up no matter what. But then he's got two more elephants right behind him. No, thank you. Keep attacking the wall. God, that would bring it down considerably, too. Keep moving, Pike and Shot. Maybe you can get there in time. You can get there for some action. I love how this turned into, uh, like, it went from me defending Agra to a full-scale invasion of Delhi. This fucking Bombard better be able to attack next round. That's gonna be kinda ridiculous if he can't. No! He ran through the mountain. Through the mountain and over the woods, our grandmother's house we go. <laughs> Come on. Let me use my bombard properly, damn it. No. Everybody wants to give me crap deals for literally my only coal. We gotta research what that shit can do first before we think of what we're gonna do with it. Obviously. Jeez. Oh, now it only takes that down a tiny, tiny fucking bit, of course. Okay, promote. Attack. Ooh, nah. Just pillage for gold, baby. Pillaged every freaking usable tile around there, goddammit. I love it. Pillage for faith. And go on alert, baby. Damn it. Neutralize the governor again. Fortify... Yes. Geneva declared war on India. Interesting. He must be allied with uh, Suleiman. Or have Suleiman as the suzerain. Suzeraman. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, that was the bombard. That's not good. I should have paid attention to him. <laughs> There's like something going on like right here that I can't see, but 
It insists on showing me the audio for it, though. No one starts a war. Okie dokie, let's get this over with. It would definitely be hilarious if I could just uh, burn it, just burn down the city and then plant my own city right there. Like you know, fuck it. That's what you get, Chandragupta. Should I try to go for Panta too? <laughs> oh, that would be great. Okay, he's got low health, so. Keep the city, hell yeah. It gives this opponent zero grievance against us, what? But raising the city, oh, that's, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> but of course it's going to be, yeah, rebelling. What is... Agra's. Let's see what's gonna happen in Agra if I move him out. It doesn't say for that. Shit. Oh god. Only negative one. I may have to actually. Uh... Fuck, what is it? I may have to actually take over Pan Patna if I want to keep this city. Let's repair the granary. And the pike and shot keep moving you south, obviously. Got my first Karasir. And I have 31 horses so I can make another one. Although the traitor got space available for that so why not all right i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and share this video if you want to see more like it please subscribe to my channel why did, what i didn't do anything that's weird and if you have any comments questions or suggestions please leave them down below in the comments section hope you have a great day peace out